Hello, my Biblio darlings, and welcome to Bibliothesia. It's a Bibliothesia is a show that brings stories to life through my reading them. In case we haven't met before, my name is Mally, and I'm going to be reading you a story called Little Miss Giggles. But before I do, let's remind our bodies that they are safe right here and right now. And we're going to do that through a 448 deep breathing exercise. And I'm going to share some jokes with you so you can laugh. And when you laugh, you automatically let your body know that it is relaxed. So let's start off with a deep breathing exercise. And how it's going to work is you're going to pretend you have a pretend balloon inside your tummy and you're going to breathe deeply for four counts. Then you're going to hold the breath for four counts. Then you're going to blow out air like you're blowing out birthday candles or blowing out wind. Are you ready to start? Let's make that pretend balloon bigger and inhale for one, two, three, four. And now let's hold the breath for mmm, 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 mmm. And now let's exhale out for eight counts. Oh, that deep breathing exercise always reminds me that I'm safe right here and right now. It's such a beautiful reminder. And I'm going to put the invitation out there for you to do this deep breathing exercise just after you wake up in the morning, at lunchtime, and just before you go to sleep. And when you come back to watch more shows. And so with that, let me share with you now some knock-knock jokes. And let's help to relax your body. So here's the first one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cold. Cold who? Cold you pass the salt? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Could you pass the salt? <laughs> it's a play on words. Okay, so here's the second one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Michelle. Michelle who? Michelle has a big pearl inside. Oh, m my shell. Michelle has a big pearl inside. <laughs> Cute. Well, let's read the third joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mikey. Mikey who? Mikey unlocks a secret box. Oh, my key unlocks a secret box. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> and I'm so happy that I understood all three jokes. Sometimes I don't understand all the three jokes and I read them over and over. And then I'm hoping you laugh even harder and harder. Okay. So, so let's get to reading our story, Little Miss Giggles, today. On the cover is a girl, and she's all blue, and she's doing this. <laughs> and then she has a cute little button nose, and she has red hair, and it looks like it's the red hair it goes like this, and there's she there's um, it comes down to here, like in a bob, and it looks like she has yellow bows, one on each side. So let's see what life is like for Little Miss Giggles. Can you giggle and eat cornflakes at the same time? Little Miss Giggles could. Do you giggle while you, no, oh, excuse me, while you sleep? Little Miss Giggles did. Can you giggle while you brush your teeth? Excuse me, Little Miss Giggles could. She was the giggliest girl in the world and she lived in Chuckle Cottage. What well, looks like Little Miss Giggle is in her bed under her quilt and she's sleeping and she's smiling. But one terrible day last summer, you'll never guess what happened. She lost her giggle. What happened? What happened that Mrs. Giggle, that Miss Giggle lost her giggle? Just like that, gone. She had woken up giggling as usual. She had giggled her way down the stairs as usual. And she had giggled while she was having breakfast, as usual. But while she was out walking in the woods around Chuckle Cottage, she realized that she wasn't giggling. Oh no, she stopped walking. That's odd, she thought. Now, ordinarily, she would have giggled to herself, but not today. She tried to giggle. Nothing happened. She tried again. Nothing happened again. Oh dear, she thought miserably. 
and as she walked along, a little tear trickled down her cheek. Oh, look at little Miss Giggle. Her eyes look sad, and she has a tear, one tear running down her cheek. And her smile that she had is now in a sad, like, hmm. oh. She met Mr. Happy, who was out for his usual morning stroll. Hello, little Miss Giggles, he laughed. And how are you today? But then he noticed her sad little face. What's wrong, he asked anxiously. You're the happiest person I know. He paused. Next to myself, of course, he added hastily. I lost my giggle, she explained miserably. Lost your giggle? he asked, befuddled. Befuddled is another word for confused. Mr. Happy scratched his head. Hmm, he said. Well, we'll just have to find it again, won't we? Little Miss Giggles nodded, but not very hopefully. Come on, he said, and taking her by the hand, he took her off. He, he took her off to see Mr. Funny. There's nobody like Mr. Funny for a giggle, Mr. Happy said. But it was no use. Mr. Funny tried and tried to get her to giggle, chuckle, or even smile. But little Miss Giggles just couldn't. Tell you what, said Mr. Funny. I'll tell you my very latest joke. Made it up myself, he added modestly. Very funny. He was laughing so hard he could hardly tell the joke. When he had finished, he and Mr. Happy nearly fell over. They were laughing so much. Have you ever laughed so hard where your sides hurt? Those are the best kind of belly laughs to have. Oh, look at this page. Mr. Happy and Mr. Funny are looking at, at, at little Miss Giggles. And little Miss Giggles has her hands over her eyes. But not little Miss Giggles. It's no use, she sighed. I'm going to be miserable for the rest of my life. I know I am. Then she thought for a moment. And I'll have to change my name, she sobbed. She started to cry again. Big fat tears. Oh dear. So Mr. Happy took her to see Mr. Topsy Turvy to ask his, his advice. Morning good, he said cheerfully. Then he caught sight of little Miss Giggle's sad face. Matter the what's, he asked. He always spoke back to front. Mr. Happy explained what had happened. Dear O, oh, Mr. Topsy Turvy explained. Then he thought, doctor, he said. Doctor, the sea to her take. That's a good idea, said Mr. Happy, and took her right away to, to see doctor make you well. I'd like to see that doctor just based on his name. Doctor, make you well. Mr. Happy told the doctor all about little Miss Giggle's lack of giggle. Hmm, he said, stick out your tongue. Not you, you silly Billy, he said to Mr. Happy. Little Miss Giggle stuck out her tongue. Looks all right to me, said doctor, make you well. Open your mouth. Doctor, make you well, peered inside. And there's little Miss Giggles, and she has her mouth open. Hmm, he said again. You're right. Not a giggle in sight. I'm sorry, he added, but there's nothing I can do for you. You'll just have to wait for your giggle to come back. Poor little Miss Giggles. Mr. Happy took her home, and by this time, he was not his cheerful self. What a sorry sight. Look at little Miss Giggles and Mr. Happy. They're both not looking happy. Don't you think? Why don't you try to giggle, he said hopefully. Little Miss Giggle opened her mouth. Ha ha ha, she said unhappily. He he he, she said miserably. Ho ho ho, she said mournfully. It was no use, no use at all. I'm sorry I can't help, said Mr. Happy, as they reached the garden gate of Chuckle Cottage. And as little Miss Giggles went sadly through her front door, Mr. Happy went home to think. 
The idea came to him while he, while he was having lunch. Oh, look, he is smiling and having a beautiful lunch. Oh, that looks delicious. He rubbed his hands with glee or with happiness. Tee hee, he chortled or laughed to himself. And later that afternoon, he knocked on the front of Chuckle Cottage. Who's there? asked a sad little voice. It's me called Mr. Out, Mr. Happy. I have a present for you. What's the present that Mr. Happy has for little Miss Giggles? Little Miss Giggles looked absolutely miserable. Open the door. Here you are, said Mr. Happy, and handed her a large box. On top of the box, in large letters, it said, One giggle, medium size, this side up, handle with care. Pardon me. Little Miss Giggles looked up at the box in amazement. What is it? she asked. What it says it is, laughed Mr. Happy. You lost your giggle, so I got you another one. What a smart idea. What a good friend that when his friend lost her giggle, he went and he got her another one. That giggle cost me a lot of money, he added. Little Miss Giggles opened the box. But there's nothing in it, she exclaimed. Of course, of course not, said Mr. Happy. Giggles are invisible. But that's absolutely ridiculous, said Little Miss Giggles. Is it, chuckled Mr. Happy. Of course it is, she giggled. She giggled. She giggled. Miss Little Miss Giggles got her giggle back. Yay! Oh, I'm so happy that she got her that little Miss Giggles got her giggle back. Oh, that makes me so happy. And did you see what I did? I went, oh, almost like a sigh, but a happy sigh. So with that, let's bring more happiness back into our body. And let's do that deep breathing exercise. So inhale deeply for one, two, three, four. And now let's hold the breath for mmm, 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 mmm. And now let's exhale out for eight like we're blowing out wind. Oh, my body feels happier because I did some deep breathing. And now let me reach over for my joke book and share with you some more laughter so we can giggle like little miss giggles. Are you ready? Okay. Right now I'm going to read you two knock knock jokes. So here's the first one. Knock knock. Who's there? Moo. Moo who? Well, make up your mind. Are you a cow or are you an owl? <laughs> Moo who? Because a cow says moo and an owl says who. <laughs> you probably didn't have, need that explained. <laughs> okay, here's the next joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Muppet. Muppet who? Better mop it up before somebody slips on all that ice cream. <laughs> oh, oh, mop it up. Get it? Mop it up. Okay. Well, it's been wonderful spending time with you. And I'm hoping that you enjoyed hearing the story little Miss Giggles, that your body feels calmer because of the deep breathing exercises and the jokes. Now remember to click that subscribe button and the notification bell. Well, as always, it's been wonderful spending time with you. And until next time, bye!